China's bold lunar mission had just turned the tide in the space race, overtaking NASA by landing on the uncharted far side of the moon. This historic achievement not only marks a new chapter in lunar exploration, but also reshapes the dynamics of global space power. What does this mean for the future of international space relations and the next frontier of exploration? Hang tight as we investigate the repercussions and explore what's coming next in this intriguing chapter of space exploration. China's Chang'e 6 mission has successfully arrived at the far side of the moon, marking a significant achievement in lunar exploration. Launched on May 3, 2024, from the Wencheng Space Launch Site, this mission aims to accomplish a historic first by bringing back samples from this previously unexplored lunar region, building on the successes of previous Chinese lunar missions, such as Chang'e 4's pioneering landing on the far side in 2019. Chang'e 6 is equipped with multiple components, a lunar orbiter, a lander and a sender, and an Earth re-entry module. The lander is tasked with gathering 2 kilograms of lunar soil and rock, including samples retrieved from depths of up to 6.5 feet within the Apollo crater situated in the South Pole Aiken Basin. These samples hold the potential to yield critical insights into the Moon's early geological history and evolution. Upon collection, the samples are slated for transport back to Earth, with the entire mission anticipated to span 53 days. The task of landing on the far side of the Moon poses distinct technical hurdles. This region remains obscured from direct view from Earth, rendering communication with landers or astronauts impossible without intermediary satellites. Moreover, the terrain is notably rugged and heavily cratered, posing challenges for both landing and navigation. China has tackled these obstacles through initiatives like deploying relay satellites such as Chuechao to enable essential communication. Beyond these technical feats, this mission reflects China's expansive ambitions in space. These aspirations encompass plans to establish a permanent lunar base by the 2030s and to send humans to the moon by 2030. The upcoming Chang'e 7 and Chang'e 8 missions, scheduled for 2026 and 2028 respectively, are poised to delve deeper into the moon's polar regions and to test pioneering technologies for resource utilization. These initiatives are integral to China's ambitions of becoming a leading force in space exploration by 2049. Additionally, the Chang'e 6 mission holds geopolitical significance by challenging the current Western-dominated space order and advancing China's vision of international collaboration in space. Leading the charge is the International Lunar Research Station Cooperation Organization, ILRSDO, spearheaded by China and including nations such as Russia. This organization aims to establish new guidelines for lunar exploration and the sustainable use of lunar resources. Meanwhile, the BRICS countries have made notable advancements in space exploration, each contributing uniquely to the development of space technology and research. Brazil, for instance, has successfully developed and launched several satellites, among them the Amazonia-1, Brazil's inaugural Earth observation satellite entirely conceived, tested, and operated domestically. Brazil's collaboration with nations like the United States, China, and India, particularly through initiatives such as the China-Brazil Earth Resources Satellite CBERS, program, underscores its commitment to enhancing its space capabilities. Russia, formerly part of the Soviet Union, has a rich history of pioneering achievements in space exploration. Among these milestones are launching the first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1, sending the first human, Yuri Gagarin, into space and conducting the first spacewalk. Today, Russia continues to advance its space capabilities with ongoing development of sophisticated spacecraft and ambitious plans for future missions to the Moon and Mars. India's ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization, made history in 2014 by successfully placing a spacecraft into Mars orbit on its maiden attempt, making India the first Asian nation to achieve this feat and the fourth globally. The Chandrayaan-1 mission made significant discoveries by detecting water molecules on the lunar surface. Chandrayaan-2 aimed to further explore by attempting a landing near the moon's south pole, and Chandrayaan-3 is planned as a follow-up mission. Additionally, India is actively progressing in its human spaceflight program, with plans to launch astronauts into space by 2024. China's Chang'e program has also attained noteworthy successes in recent years. Chang'e 4 achieved the historic milestone of making the first soft landing on the far side of the moon, while Chang'e 5 successfully brought lunar samples back to Earth. 
the Tianwen-1 mission demonstrated China's capabilities by orbiting Mars, landing successfully, and deploying the Zhurong rover, establishing China as the third country to accomplish a Mars landing and rover deployment. Furthermore, China is constructing its own space station, Tiangong, slated to be fully operational by 2022, highlighting its advancements in sustaining long-term human presence in space. South Africa's Mirtat radio telescope stands as a cornerstone of the Square Kilometer Array SKA project, recognized as one of the most significant scientific initiatives of the 21st century, aimed at exploring the universe with unprecedented detail. Complementing this effort, South Africa has developed and launched several satellites like SunSat and ZACU, contributing to both Earth observation and scientific research, engaging actively in international collaboration. South Africa plays a pivotal role in global scientific endeavors. China and the BRICS countries have forged substantial cooperation in space endeavors, prioritizing remote sensing and data sharing to tackle global challenges. In May 2022, these nations launched the BRICS Joint Committee on Space Cooperation, fostering collaboration in remote sensing, satellite observation, and data exchange among its members, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. BRICS. The initiative focuses on leveraging data for environmental protection, disaster management, and addressing climate change. A virtual constellation of remote sensing satellites has been established by the BRICS countries. This constellation includes China's Gelfin 6 and ZY3, the jointly developed CBERS-4 by Brazil and China, Russia's Canopus 5, and India's Resources at 2 and 2A. These satellites enable robust data sharing on climate change impacts environmental preservation, and disaster response, reinforcing multilateral cooperation across the BRICS nations. BRICS space cooperation extends to ground stations located across member countries, including Hainan in China, Alcantara in Brazil, Moscow in Russia, Hyderabad in India, and Hartabistok in South Africa. These stations play a crucial role in supporting the satellite constellation by receiving and processing remote sensing data. This collaboration underscores the BRICS countries' broader geopolitical aspirations to establish a substantial presence in space by advancing their space capabilities and promoting resource sharing. By reducing reliance on Western space infrastructure, they aim to assert influence in global space governance while showcasing their technological advancements and fostering diplomatic ties. A notable example of this cooperation is the China-Brazil Earth Resources Satellite CBERS, program initiated in 1988, which exemplifies successful international collaboration in space. Looking ahead, BRICS space agencies plan to expand their partnership with potential new projects and enhance technological capabilities. This includes further developing satellite infrastructure and possibly embarking on more ambitious space exploration missions in the future. The future of space exploration is increasingly shaped by competition and potential conflicts between Western powers primarily represented by United States and Eastern powers led by China and Russia. This rivalry is influenced by geopolitical tensions, strategic military objectives, and the emergence of distinct space alliances. Initiated in 2020, the US-led Artemis Accords aim to return humans to the moon by 2025 and establish a regulatory framework for lunar exploration, resource utilization, and future missions to Mars and beyond. In contrast, China and Russia have formed a collaborative alliance for their lunar ambitions, including the development of the International Lunar Research Station ILRS. This partnership underscores their strategic cooperation in space and their objective to present an alternative to the US-dominated international space governance framework. The escalating militarization of space introduces another dimension of complexity. The United States, China and Russia are all incorporating space capabilities into their military doctrines, recognizing space as a pivotal domain for safeguarding national security. The deployment and experimentation with anti-satellite (ASAT) weaponry by these nations heighten the risks associated with potential conflicts in space. As we wrap up this exploration into China's groundbreaking lunar mission, we're left wondering, how will this achievement reshape international efforts in space exploration? Feel free to share your insights in the comments below. Join the Revel Discovery community by subscribing and stay updated on this critical shift in global geopolitical dynamics. As we delve into these significant geopolitical shifts, 
Your perspective is invaluable. Stay engaged with us as we continue to explore and analyze these developments.